Well, good morning, <clears throat> Emmanuelites or Emmanuelians, whatever uh, you ought to be called. This is uh, Pastor David here, just with just some thoughts about yesterday. <clears throat> um, I thought we had a good day. I thought we had a, a pretty good crowd there, and uh, I feel like from the comments I received yesterday that the the message, the sermon was well received, and um, but a lot of you said that you learned a lot, and you, you know, I think were challenged by what you heard, and so I appreciate those thoughts and comments and encouraging words. I think we had a good fellowship afterward with Pastor Rick, um, as he finished up his time at Emmanuel, and um, we tried to appreciate him uh, and we certainly miss Diane uh, sorry that she couldn't be there and I wish Melissa could have been there too but um, you know both of our wives are on duty in different ways uh, right now so um, and I think we had a good Lord's Supper um, I think some of you have said it's been probably a year and a half since you have taken the Lord's Supper together as a church. And that's too long. Um, I think maybe uh, I at least want to do it every other month, but I'm thinking maybe once a month at some point. Um, but we're just going to take it slow and we'll get there. But... I think the final thing I want to share with you was it just dawned on me this morning uh, that uh, I was under spiritual attack this weekend. And let me explain what I mean. You know, the Bible talks about us being in a spiritual battle. And if you read Ephesians 6, you read more about that, putting on the armor of God, that, that our war is not against flesh and blood. And all of that. And it's all true. And a lot of times these days, we we don't even think about or talk about spiritual warfare. Because we're afraid maybe we'll be seen as being extreme or, or wacko or whatever. But it's real. In fact, let me just explain. Um, Sunday, well, Saturday night, uh, I went to bed... And I didn't sleep well, really. I was sort of restless all night. I had worked on my sermon Saturday, which is unusual also for me. Usually I have it done before then. Um, and I'm a little more comfortable with it. But nevertheless, it was Saturday. And then uh, I went to bed, didn't sleep all that great, got up early. Felt like, you know what, I probably ought to get to the church early just so I have time to set things up and, and not feel rushed and everything. And, and I got to church and we had a good day there, good Sunday school class. Um, and I think things went well overall, but I'm just going to tell you that while I was up there preaching, uh, well, a number of things. Right when I started the sermon, um all of a sudden the thought came through my mind, you didn't set up your cell phone camera and record the sermon. Maybe you should stop right now and go down there and set it up and start over. But there was no way I was going to do that. And so that kind of weighed on me because I really wanted to record the sermon. And I'm probably going to go back and just re-preach it and put it online anyway for those who weren't able to hear it. But so I didn't do that. That was one thing. Um, the PowerPoint, my little slide transitions about the different solas of the Reformation, they didn't transition properly. So I just had to walk down to the computer and, and bring it all up at once. And, you know, we had a few technical problems yesterday, too. Uh, and I, th I think the devil was just trying to get me frustrated and flummoxed and just off track and discourage me 
and you know he was working on me pretty good but but that's not the only thing while i was preaching after i realized i didn't start the recording and as i was going i was looking out over the congregation while i was preaching and these thoughts came into my mind that what that people are being taking offense at what you're saying uh you're you're too deep for them on this uh you need to back off you need to back down some people are getting mad just all these thoughts came through my mind about uh wanting me to kind of back off on what I was saying, but I couldn't. I mean, I, I, I could have. It would have been easy for me to cave in to those thoughts and feelings. But now, just looking back on yesterday, I think that's exactly what the devil was trying to get me to do because he hates the truth. He hates the gospel. He hates people understanding that uh, our salvation is all the grace of God. It's by, like I said, grace alone, through faith alone, and Christ alone, to the glory of God alone, and <clears throat> that's what the Reformation was all about, and uh, Satan is going to come against pastors and churches who stand up for those things, who stand up for truth, who stand up for the gospel, and that's what I was experiencing Saturday into Sunday. And for all of you who may have been praying for me, I just want to thank you. And I hope you'll continue to pray for me as we embark into the book of James. So thank you so much. And I hope that maybe my sharing this will help you not be afraid to sometimes realize that we are in a spiritual war. And uh, get into the word let the word get into you. Uh, replace the error in your thinking with the truth of God's word. And do as James says, resist the devil and he will flee from you.